guys, Kelsey here from Preble Arts. Uh, today we are going to do a really fun project and that's flow painting. Um, I know a lot of you have come up in to do it and some still haven't but really want to try it. Um, what's really cool is we always have this on our art menu so you can always come in and try it out yourself uh, once we open back up. And occasionally I teach two hour workshops uh, that show you different ways to do flow painting. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Dirty Pour, which is one of the most popular ones. Um, and if there's a, another way that you would like to have me show you, put it in the comments. Um, I'd be happy to do more of these. I'd love doing slow painting. Uh, and they're super fun to watch, so awesome on your end. So let's get to it. Okay. So what you're going to need is a canvas, um, some cups to place it on, um, some cups to pour your paint into, and the paint itself. So the paint itself, we have them in these bottles, it's not what's on here. Uh, we just recycled these bottles to have them be our flow paint, um, which we've pre-mixed, which is just flow medium. Um, it's actually mostly flow medium, which is like a splash of paint and that basically gives it the color um, you don't want to put too much paint into it or it gets too thick and then it doesn't want to do what it's supposed to do which is flow um, so the first thing you do once you have all that is you pick out the colors you want out of what you've mixed now one thing that people really like with flow painting is the cells that can come out of it and there's a few uh, ways for you to achieve cells. Um, one is by putting a little bit of WD-40 by spraying that in there um, and shaking it up. It does wonders. Um, and then also when I pour, you might see me take my cup. And the first color I'll, I'll pour low, but then like the other ones I might pour from up here and that helps give you some cells as well. So those are just some fun ways to um, achieve some cells. So I'm going to go ahead and get my colors picked out and pouring them. And I'm going to do probably just like a little bit of a... Uh, sorry, I'm outside. I'm a little distracted. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a um, fast thing. <laughs> that word has escaped my mind, but that's okay. Uh, but I'm going to do a rainbow. Uh, and like I said before, I'm going to pour the first one low and the other one's a little high to get those cells. But that first color that I pour in will be the last color on the canvas. So if you're doing this, just be aware that that last color is going to be the color on the canvas. Another thing to think about is um, that you can fill all these in the same, like in these two cups, do the exact same amount and everything, pour it the exact same way, and it 95% is probably not going to turn out the same, like I could probably go higher on that percentage, you're just not, it's hard to pull off the same thing again, um, it's a very random art activity. Uh, this is also a very awesome art activity that like it turns out most of the time. Uh, and it's really easy, so if you don't consider yourself an artist, this is something that you could do and like really be proud of. It looks awesome. Uh, and if it doesn't, then we pour more paint on it until it looks awesome. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a time lapse. Got it. Uh, it took me a while. Uh -huh. And fill this up, and then we'll go to our next step. All right, so I have my paint mixture. It looks super cool on top, and I'll show you that in a second. But I'm gonna just show you what I'm going to do before I move you up, so you can see all the fun jazz that's gonna happen. I have no idea where my extra little cup went. It probably flew away. I'll find it. But let's say this is my cup paint. So I have these little cups underneath here. Those are going to help have it drip off. 
I do have paper towels here, you'll see that. Um, you're going to want something down or something to put it in. Uh, and it does take quite a long while to dry. But what you're going to do is you're going to take that cup that's filled with your paint. You're going to just flip it like this and put it back on. Okay. So let me show you this cup before I do that. Okay, hopefully you saw that I just couldn't tell if you could or not. <laughs> I try my best. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now if some of it leaks out when you're doing it, it's okay. That does happen. That's not a problem. So I have my paint on top of my canvas and so now I'm going to move you guys up so you can see what's going to happen. Okay, so now we have our canvas and our paint there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lift it up. Okay, and it's going to kind of do its thing. Um, I'm actually going to scoot it just a little so I don't mess up these. Um, as you can tell, some of the paint's going in. Some people like to, to track it around. Some people like to take a little bit of white and put it on the edges. That's nice to do um, if you have some extra. Um, and the reason for that is it helps later get off the edges. Um, the edges are the hardest to cover. Um, but you can just take your finger and kind of smear it. You could take a, a tool and smear it. I'm not afraid of the paint, so I'm just going to take my finger. And sometimes that white will show up and sometimes it won't, so please be aware that if that's the color you're putting on the sides to help move it, that it could still stay there show up just a little bit um, so you can use a different color too um, there's no right or wrong in that process okay so now I got the edge of my canvas covered and my paint and I'm just gonna lift up Ooh, and move my cup you can keep your cup over it but it will start to drip in it um, and not everybody likes that. I still have some paint in my cup just in case I need some later. That's okay. And I'm going to start moving it around my canvas. And so when you're moving it, I know you can't see it at the moment, um, you can direct it in the way that you like most of the color to be. Um, and once I get it onto this edge, I'll probably direct it a little bit back to keep some of that red. A lot of that red is run off now. And that's okay. Actually, I'm going to place it down for a second. And pour a little bit of what I had onto that corner. Just to keep some of that red back in there. Turn at this corner. And you want to do this when it's wet. Um, if not, then you'll really see a difference. So now I'm going to just move it back a little bit. Start to get that red back in there. I like what we got going down here. It looks very galaxy. You'll slowly start to see the red come back in. I could only angle my camera on these things so much. I've tried my best. Okay, 
So what's really fun about this is it actually is in like rainbow colors in order, kind of, which is kind of surprising. <laughs> um, most of the time it shows up random in so many different places. Sorry, I'm just washing my hands really fast before I touch my phone to show you it all. But it's super fun and so like right now you see all these cells and stuff in there and they might keep popping out um, some people like to use heat to help make those cells pop um, i have noticed with what we use that if we just use wd-40 and pour high that the heat really doesn't do much to it this is our end result if you have questions about this process, let me know. Uh, if you're interested in taking a two-hour class on this, let me know as well. It's good for me to know what you guys are interested in taking. Um, and like I said before, this is on our art menu. So anytime that we're open, once we open back up, uh, you can come in and do one yourself. And with that one, you'd most likely be doing the dirty pour. There are other ways to do it, which is what I would teach in the class. And again, if you know of a way or want me to do more of these videos, just again, tell me in the comments. But it turned out super cool. And it will keep changing. So um, as the paint sits there, the whole thing will start to shift a little bit. Um, but it'll stay mostly like this. At most, the cells might open up more. But yeah, I'm happy with it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do something like this or if you've done something like this, I want to see that as well. Or any art that you guys are doing. Uh, it's going to help keep us sane during these next few weeks. So I hope you enjoyed. I sure did. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.